All right, guys, a little history on the car. I've wanted one of these cars all of my life. Well, as long as I can remember, right? And this one popped up on Facebook, and I thought, you know, I'll go buy it, and I'll play with it a little bit. And truthfully, it was a little rougher than I anticipated it being. And, uh, but it's the right color. It's white. It's my favorite color. And it's got a V8, and it's slow. But we're going bracket racing with it, folks. So, uh... I've named it the Bracket Beater, and let's make it a hot rod. thing is we got to make it where we can hear it right who needs a quiet hot rod so let's see what we're working with here like I said it's a stock 91 Caprice got a 5.0 in it still got the cats on it I mean it runs good it's got cold air conditioner but how restrictive on this 305 is this exhaust I don't have any data from before but that stuff's coming off all right phase one no more exhaust it's so cute Alright, on to the next step. Alright, we got the exhaust off. Let's see what it sounds like. Okie dokie guys, we've got it uh, breathing a little better as far as exhaust goes. Now let's let it breathe on the intake a little better also. Get this bastard off. Look at there. Factory at Ram Air. Shoo. Reckon it needed a filter? A lot of people are going to hate what I'm about to do to this car. But it's my car. And it needs a scoop. So we got to cut a hole in the hood. Because what's the use of a non-functional scoop? Stand by. Okay, so what I've done is I laid the scoop up there where I wanted it and just took a dry erase marker and marked around it. Theoretically, what I want to do is leave about a two inch lip all the way around to give something to fasten the hood scoop to. So, that'll be next.
As you can see, that's going to gain us access directly to the air intake. Woo-woo!